With Osprey and Okada only a few matches behind Misawa on Dave's wrestlers with the most five or more star match list, how long until they both break the record? Well, I need to know how many five star matches they need left because then I could tell you. Yeah. It could be like a year or less. The rate those two guys are going. Are you going to talk to Ernest Miller at the GCW show you're on? I met Ernest Miller, uh, how many years ago was this? It was not that long ago. I feel like it was like 2016, 2017. Wasn't it in Vegas? I can't remember where it was, but he's a he was a perfectly uh, friendly bloke. Sure. Yeah. Well, it probably helped you didn't call him the chat. Well, I you know, I, I uh, it was a long time ago. <laughs> Did you listen to the didn't you listen to the second time we watched all of Nitro and I was a huge fan of Ernest Miller? One of the yeah, best things on there. the show. Remember yeah. when uh Buddy was on Velocity? I think it was Tajiri. No, he wrestled uh, uh Papa Chulo. Oh, that's right. Papa Chulo. But I uh, but he's working him over and Ernest is getting behind him. I'm a big fan of this Buddy Wayne. Buddy Wayne's a winner. And the buddy missed the moonsault. Buddy Wayne is a loser. Buddy Wayne is an ugly loser. <laughs> that was funny. How excited are you guys about Wrestle Kingdom going back to one night? Hey. Well, I always prefer a one night big show. All shows should be one night. Yeah, I wish WrestleMania would, but it ain't going to happen. But it is funny that uh, New Japan went four straight years, two two nights in a row, and then moved back to one. So uh, we'll I see. think it'll be far better yeah. because two shows watered everything down. One show with just all the best matches, it'll be far superior. It makes more sense. And, and it makes the, uh, makes the G1 even more prestigious because you're main eventing the only main event of WrestleMania. That's Wrestle true. Team. Alex says, excuse me, guy, just saving cord. Saving cord? Referring to the headphones? Yeah, how does it save cord? I don't know. There's like a finite amount of cord. Is I guess it... he's worried because your cord's crossing your body that he, he's concerned the headphones will wear out faster because the cord is stretched four inches more? But it's got a, it's, it's, like, a, it's like a telephone thing. It's got the... Yeah, it's, it's ribbed for your pleasure. <laughs> I'm very confused. <laughs> I have been using these headphones wrong. <laughs> Leonard here. Who do you see eventually dethroning Osprey for the U.S. title and when... Since his title is more exciting to follow than the IWGP World Heavyweight title presently. I mean, it's probably going to be Juice, be my guess. When it officially? But I, yeah. could, I could be wrong. I, I'm, I am not uh, in tune enough to have really answer that question fairly. Maybe it'll be Tom. He's an American winning the U.S. title. Well, yeah, Tom, Tom would be a good pick. But I don't think Tom is uh, facing Will Ospreay for the U.S. title imminently. Hmm. But maybe he will. If you could form a dream tag team and give them an insider name, what would it be? An insider name. I'd team Brian Danielson and Takesh and call them Soup Dragons. <laughs> God. That's a great, that's a great <laughs> band. I get it. <laughs> I don't, I don't, that's not necessarily an insider name. It's just a pun. Uh, but it's not one that I think I can top off the top of my head, to be honest with you. <laughs> I didn't always want to... Oh, what was the team I had? Um, the, uh, it was WrestleFest. There was a, one of the early 1980s, maybe 90s, WWF arcade game. Um, and you had Big Boss Man, who was the Big Boss Man. But you also had Jim Duggan, who was kind of, the, he was never a champion of anything, but he was the enforcer. He laid down the law. And so I always had Jim Duggan and Big Boss Man team and call them the police. You know what? This is a this is actually a good granny uh contest yeah we could do two that. wrestlers two wrestlers call them the most absurd tag team name that you can come up with which match is more anticipated osprey versus omega or zach saber jr versus danielson for me personally or in general that's i mean it's up to everybody individually I'm my, sure, personally but. personally my answer is zach and danielson but uh, I will certainly, I would certainly tune in for Osprey and Omega. I would make sure that I was my eyeballs were on that one. Personally, for me, it's Omega and Osprey. Zach and Danielson is a more unique match, I think. Yeah, because we've never seen anything resembling it before. But uh, Osprey and Omega, I think, would be a much better match. I don't think that Zach and Brian would be bad. It'd be awesome. But I think right. that uh, Osprey Omega, they'd both get another one of their five stars. It, w it would certainly be a uh, uh, more spectacular match. I think that's true. I mean, Zach and Danielson, I'm sure, would be awesome, but... Yeah. 
What is your go-to finisher for your match, and are you bringing back your old gear from back in the day? What old gear? That's a good question. What a gear broken are you heart on my ass? Cargo pants? The, 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 the answer is neither of those. The rash guard pants you wore for the chop and roll days? <laughs> yeah, I may bring that back, actually. That's all I got left. And I got no, I got no finishes left. They've all stopped working. <laughs> so I'm going to have to come up with something new. <laughs> Did you see my last match? I think I, I did, did at some point. Yeah, I had one. I had one move oh, the choke left. Breaker. The super kick. Yeah. I hit three of them, and none of them worked. And then I got killed. Yeah, you're right. So I'm gonna need to. I'm gonna need to try. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to break out something new this time. Ah, yes, it's a good idea. Iron claw, heart punch. Everything old is new again. Please, heart punch, please. Are you all excited to see Sheamus versus Gunther at Clash of the Castle? Actually, yes. That sounds awesome. I do put it. You that kidding me? Beat the fucking shit out of each other. <laughs> I had no idea this was happening. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. Bro, they had a five-way on SmackDown for the number one contendership against Gunther. This fucking match was awesome. They had a great match. It got 22 minutes. Cool. It's like oh. Ricochet and Sheamus and Sami Zayn in Montreal. He's a huge baby face. It was fucking great. Did you guys see? Uh, it's. I'll find it, and I'll plug the account here. Uh it's like Grapple Clips, one, 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 of the, one of the Twitter accounts that does wrestling moves all the time. They were there, and they got a cell phone shot of Sammy's giant dive. It is the most awesome shot. It's, it, it, it's the perfect view where you can see the entire ring. You see Sammy do his move. It's zoomed in enough. You can still see Sammy do his big, his wacky face as he's doing the dive, but also see the entire crowd behind him so the venue looks spectacular. And he hits the move and does the big dive, and the crowd all rises to their feet as one. So you get the setup. Payoff and aftermath, all in one shot. It is it's killer. I'll find it right now if I can. It was so bizarre though. I was watching the show and they can say anything they want now because Vince is gone. And uh, Sammy, I think he did that dive, and he hits a dive. And Michael Cole, I can't remember his exact words, but he said something like, "Looks like El Generico." <laughs> <laughs> what? That was fucking bizarre. He hasn't wanted to say that for like eight years I or how long it's has. been. <laughs> that was weird. But the best thing on SmackDown by miles and miles is the very first backstage segment they do with Sami Zayn and Roman Reigns. It's so fucking great. These two guys are the greatest. And they have the, the crowd uh, noise as well, so you can hear the crowd reacting to it. It's awesome. Sami and, and Roman were the highlight of that show and that match. This is how the show begins, really. Oscar does a back kick, camera cut. She does a back fist, camera cut. She starts to run, camera cut. She hits a hip attack, camera cut. She drops to her knees, camera cut. She throws a kick, camera cut. She stands up and screams, camera cut to people probably on the floor. I was furious, do you understand? I wanted to shut the show off and not watch anymore. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.